Hey everyone, Steve here from makingbacon.net Facebook group. Um, just wanted to do a little basic EQ cure, equilibrium cure on a pork loin for back bacon or Canadian bacon as we Americans like to call it. Um, so I'm just going to do this really quick and show you how to do this. Pretty simple. All I have here is cure number one, kosher salt, and I'm using light brown sugar for this. I've got my little trusty Tupperware container, um, little scale here I got off Amazon, my little container here. So we're going to start this off and make sure I'm on grams. I'm going to throw this little container on here and I'm going to hit the tear button so it's back to zero. Now my pork loin was 1421 grams, so my salt is 31.26 grams, sugar is 14.21 grams. Cure number one is a range between 2.73 and 4.55. These, this calculation and these numbers came from the local Food Heroes um, calculator that's on the website, uh, if you want to check that out. There's another one on there, Digging Dog Farms. You can use that one. Both of them, you can adjust the salt content, sugar content. Um, don't mess with the cure number one. If you're going to use it, stick with what's on there. Um, I believe those are locked anyway. Um, I like 2.5% salt, 1% sugar. I like it a little saltier. Um, a lot of people like 2 to 1. That's your call. Try it a couple ways and see what you like. But that's all I'm using for this, real basic. So what I'm going to do first, I like to do the cure first, um, just to get this little amount out of the way. So I'm going to do 2.73 to 4.55. I'm going to try to get around 4. So I'm going to do a little bit at a time. You're not going to have much cure number one in here. It's going to surprise you probably the first time you do this because you're going to think you're going to need more um, when you're not. It's going to be a really small amount. Actually, everything is going to be a really small amount as you coat it also. And that may, I think that surprises some people who just start out, but it really is correct. So go with the formula. Um, it works. And this is just my way of doing it. You can do it any way you want. This is just a nice, easy, reliable way where you don't have to mess around with the salt or soaking or any of that. So I'm at 3.9% on the Cure 1. I'm going to hit my tear button. It's going to go back to zero. So I'm going to put 31 grams of salt in here. Take a spoon. That's 10. We have 18. 25. Start kind of slowing down on how much I'm putting in there. 30.3 calls for 31. One more little bit, and I'm good. I'm going to tear back to zero again, and I'm going to do my sugar. 14.21 grams. Take my sugar. That's 6.8. There's 10. 11.4, 12.9, since I used 2.2.5% 2 salt, I want to make sure I get to my, there's 14.2, okay? All right, so, all right, so I'm going to just dump this cure in here like this. I'm going to use my spoon, I'm going to kind of mix this up a little bit. Put this in a baggie if you wanted and shake it up. A um, little shaker, maybe a spice shaker you saved. We'll just give it a good little mix. If I had a Ziploc baggie, I'd be using it. But I'm out of writing them, so. All right, we're going to take this. Take our little Tupperware here. I'm just going to kind of Spread this all over. Turn it over. Spread it some more. I'm going to just move it all around this container. Try to use up all the cure I can in my hands. Take my bag. Get 
in my bag here. All this that's left. Right in there. Massage that around a bit. air out of there as I can. Throw this in here. Put that on here. And I'm going to put this in the fridge. And I'm going to flip it every day for 14 days. It's a pretty thick piece. I do 14. I'm pretty much going to take care of the, the, the curing with 14 days. Um, and then uh, we'll hot smoke it after that. Uh, hope that helps. All right, make a bacon.